So first thing we're gonna do is basically uh, make sure that uh, we have our database right here. So uh, as you can see, it's my uh, database that has some data in it. Next thing I wanna do is basically go into project settings. Um, and then after that, uh, you're gonna click on uh, configure under configuration, you're gonna click on database. Uh, and on database, you're gonna be able to see the uh, basically the info for connecting to your database. Um, so you're just going to want to click on it, click copy and replace the your password section with your database password that you initially set when you created your Superbase project. Um, so this is for that. Uh, and this is basically your current um, address for your Superbase database that is hosted on their uh, AWS uh, server. Um, so you're going to take this URL. Um, and next thing you're going to want to do uh, is basically go and create a folder on your uh, directory, any directory. Um, so myself, I put it on desktop, so super base migration example. Create a DOM folder and basically open a PowerShell, um, a PowerShell prompt right here. Uh, so we're going to be able to run some commands. Okay, so I've pulled out the, um, basically the commands you're going to need to run, uh, in order to, uh, dump your database. Um, and basically we're just going to start right now. Uh, so you take this, uh, basically the URL you add, uh, and you put it right here in the comment. Um, and I'll put the full comments in the description right there. So definitely go check it out. Um, but basically, uh, the comment looks, uh, something like that. So we have the file dump. Uh, the roles, uh, schema, data, everything. Um, so we're basically going to start by dumping the roles of the database. So this is all your uh, uh, RLS policies, your users and everything. After that, we're going to dump the schema. So this is uh, like your odd schema if you've changed the things in it. Um, then you have like all your public schema. So all the tables you've created. Uh, and then after that, we're going to dump the data.sql, which is all the data that's in our database, uh, which is going to be the biggest file. Um, so we're going to start right up. Uh, first thing before, if you, uh, never ran, uh, NPX Superbase, uh, you can do this. So, uh, do NPX Superbase, uh, and it's basically going to prompt you to, uh, install a package if you've never done it. Um, so as you can see, uh, we have the Superbase, uh, CLI already installed. If it's not installed. Uh, you can just install it uh, via uh, npm um, npmi slash d uh, g for global um, and just like that you're gonna have the cli uh, so i'll go right ahead and take the first uh, comment and run super base like that um, oh and you uh, you do need to start your docker engine uh, docker desktop uh, in order for this to work because they're going to clone basically the they're going to clone the database locally to then be able to uh, uh, pull from it uh, so get started by uh, starting your docker engine uh, and then when this is done uh, as you can see it's going to start uh, dumping and it's already finished uh, so we can see in our folder uh, if we go here we have the roles.sql uh, so we can take a look at that. So it's pretty simple, uh, nothing fancy. I didn't change a lot of things in that. Um, so this is our first file. And then after that, we just continue uh, executing line by line. So next thing is gonna be the schema, which may take a bit longer. So dumping schema from the remote database. Right here, we're just gonna have to wait for that. And as you can see, it's already finished. So. Uh, we can take a look at that uh, right here. Make sure it's all right. So we have all our schema right here. So this is all our tables. Um, and next up, it's gonna be the latest one, which is, uh, if I remember, yeah, for data. So let's do that right here. All right, so as you guys can see right now, we have finished dumping the schema. So it says dump schema to uh, dump.data.sql. Uh, so right now that this is finished, uh, we're just basically gonna see uh, in our folder uh, if it's uh, done it properly. And as we can see right now, uh, we have the three files. So we have our one kilobyte roles.sql, our schema.sql, which is 32 kilobytes, 
and we have 104,492 uh, kilobytes uh, basically for the data which is normal since it's our biggest uh, file um, so the next thing you're going to want to do is basically the migration from the, your hosted um, Superbase database under service uh, your dump from them is basically finished right now we're in the process of um, uploading on our new server and this is something I wanted to point out is um, if you don't have your server set up yet uh, I invite you to go check out our previous video which uh, our previous video showed you how to uh, create a full stack um, Next.js deployment with a super base deployment on uh, Coolify which you can go check out uh, which our database uh, we can access uh, via uh, the link that we use right here so uh, let's go in here just like that so this is our database uh, already logged in so this is a fresh database as you can see um, so the next thing we're gonna want to do is basically log in to our um, uh, VPS um, so I'm just gonna log in right now uh, and as you can see, uh, I have my uh, VPS right here logged in. Um, and what you're going to want to do right now is basically uh, copy your uh, uh, SQL files um, inside the Docker container, which is the database. Uh, so in our case, uh, we're just going to need to transfer it to the VPS. Uh, and for that, you can use many things. But for myself, I like to use SCP, uh, which is basically uh, copying over SSH. Uh, so I'm not going to do it right now because I've already done it. But uh, as you can see right now, uh, I have my three files. So I have data.sql, uh, roles.sql, and uh, schema.sql. So the next thing you're going to want to do is basically um, identify what's your um, Docker and container you're going to use. Uh, so in my case, uh, I'm going to be using uh, the Superbase uh, DB. Uh, which if you have multiple you can just go check because um, I have my test uh, that I'm using for YouTube tutorials and I also have my uh, production one for um, my website so you can see the database is right here and I think it's gonna tell us the uh, container ID if I take a look here uh, so it's not telling us right now so if we go into terminal and we go to uh, Superbase DB like that. Uh, let's go take a look in the uh, IO. So we're just gonna find the name, Docker PS, and let's go with uh, grep uh, Superbase DB. So basically the old name, just like that. So as you can see, we have the uh, container right here. It says LT port uh, 5432, which is the basic uh, Postgres port. Um, we're just going to copy the uh, container ID, basically. Uh, and what you're going to want to do is uh, use those commands. So you're just going to use Docker CP, which is basically going to uh, copy all the SQL files ins uh, inside the, um, the container. Um, so you can just do sudo docker cp. Uh, and let's try doing uh, uh, star SQL. I'm not sure it's gonna let us do it. Uh, and you can do that uh, just by using the container ID right here uh, and then selecting the path where you want to transfer the files to. So in my case, it's gonna be uh, in the root. Um, I'm just gonna try to do that. Uh, yeah, and they want a destination path. So we're just gonna do it like I said. Uh, right here, so we're going to do sudo. Let's just clear this out. sudo docker cp, and we're going to do uh, schema schema.sql dot dot like that. And we're going to say the destination is schema.sql. So as you can see, it said successfully copied to uh, the, the container basically. Uh, next up is going to be roles, so we're going to do roles. Roll SQL, just gotta change the names, just like that. So we copied it, and then next up it's gonna be data. So we're just gonna do it like that. So as you can see right now, it's copied the uh, uh, file right there, so 107 megabytes 
uh, to the container so we're ready for that uh, and then after that once you did it you just basically have to uh, execute the script um, into your database so pretty pretty straightforward um, so I'm just gonna use the previous ID uh, I've copied and replace it here so that I have my uh, comments ready um, and I'm just gonna put sudo before each of them just like that oh, just like that all right so right now what we can do is basically uh, start by creating the schema uh, inside the database so we're just basically saying to docker execute this uh, pc call command uh, inside the um, docker container um, and basically choose this file uh, for pc call to execute inside it so uh, we could do only that if we were using the uh, postgres install on the the host so on our vps but since we're using docker and containers we need to specify the container to execute it in um, so we're just going to do a uh, sudo uh, docker exec uh, like that uh, and it's going to basically upload our um, upload our file uh, into our postgres database um, and then you're going to need to uh, enter your uh, database password which you can find on your um, dashboard here so uh, database password again i'm going to change this after so don't you guys try to uh, steal it um, and just enter it like that and as you can see it's already created a schema um, so next up we're gonna go back and run our second command just like that go here it's gonna ask for the password again just like that again we did that so right now it's gonna be the last one which is the uh, data.sql file it's gonna be a bit longer i'm gonna need the password again and it's gonna start um inserting into our tables um, so as you can see it's copying right now the data and it's pretty much finished so depending on the size of your database it's going to be longer or um, shorter uh, but in my case uh, it was pretty short so we just did that um, so right now you see it's already updated so uh, this is my project uh, superbase kong uh, basically the example project i made and all your uh, data is there so you have your schema your data is there uh, so this is my books data uh, we have other books uh, like that with isbn so this is basically all you need um, and like for the uh, authentic authentication part it's all there so uh, this is a, a previous version of my users uh, but it's still there so all your uh, things are there uh, and let's say we want to go for logs so as you can see you still have logs which is nice uh, it also imported logs and right now you're pretty much set to be ready to use it um, like I said in the last video if you guys want to set up the OAuth uh, setup for the database I invite you to go check my video which um, I'm gonna link in the description uh, because it requires a bit more setup in the docker compose file to be able to use OAuth um, on the self-hosted version, but otherwise it's pretty much it. Um, pretty much stay straightforward to host it, uh, and you're gonna be able to use it as soon as you've done that. So I hope you guys uh, have a nice day. Um, if you have any questions, make sure to ask them in comments, and please subscribe so you can stay updated for next videos. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one.